Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are some of the customizations that I've done using the gravity box on my OnePlus 2. So guys, this is the OnePlus 2 and it is running a custom ROM called as SkyDragon built on Oxygen OS. So it doesn't have a lot of customizations, just few performance tweaks. So I have installed Exposed Framework and installed the gravity box module in it. So let me just show you that. So this is the exposed framework, I just changed the theme, these are the modules and in it we have the gravity box for lollipop. By the way this is running android 5.1.1 and oxygen OS I guess 2.2.0. So there we have it oxygen OS 2.2.0. So guys coming to the customizations that I have currently done. There are a lot of customizations that you can do using the gravity box but these are the things that I've done. So if we go to recents you can see the RAM, we can see the RAM usage. I don't know if you can even put a button to close all the apps. I don't know if this is available in the stock ROM. As I've said this is a custom ROM and there are a few tweaks. So anyway I put this RAM usage bar in the recents panel and I have added the brightness slider on the status bar so I can simply swipe on the status bar to change the brightness and I can double tap the status bar to put the device to sleep double tap to wake the device works normally but in the lock screen I can double tap to put the device to sleep in an empty area and I have tweaked the toggles so I have added a few more toggles over here we can even change the number of toggles per row but for some reason it didn't work and that's pretty much it what I've changed using the gravity box. So if you have any considerations or if you find something useful and if you want to tell me just let me know by commenting below this video and there is a module for the alert slider just as a sneak peek for my next video you have a separate module for alert slider so if I put the alert slider to the top it will turn on the flash so you can customize the way the slider works using the exposed module so for that do check out my other video so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video i hope you found this video to be helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this